Slime guys, Ifan back again with another video and this is part 8 of the multi-part uh, video series that we have been uh, doing on Visual Basic for Excel. Now in this uh, video we will see how we can fill in colors in cells in Visual Basic. Now uh, normally what you are used to is say for example this cell here F3. If you want to uh, make this cell say for example red you just you know make sure that that is the um, active cell and then you you know go to this um, option here in the, in the ribbon menu and you just select red and that's how you would fill in the colors now if you are wanting to fill you know fill in the colors in cells in you know while you're programming in visual basic how to do that that's what we're going to uh, look at in this uh, video Okay, so let's get started. Now, uh, in this video, we'll I'll show you three different ways in which you can fill in colors in uh, cells in uh, Excel in uh, Visual Basic. Okay, now option number one, or better number one, would be using the. Um, oops, sorry. Color index uh, property. The other would be using. Uh, VB color name method and the third would be the RGP. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, say for example, this cell. Uh, let's let's first uh, go into uh, how each is done. Now, uh, in color index, what you do is the um, syntax is would be range. Dot interior dot other index is equal to and you you know you give it a number okay um, and the VB uh, other name would be range Dot interior dot color is equal to v, vb and the color name okay and for the last one the code is going to be interior dot color is equal to rgb x comma y comma z okay so let's see how we would uh, do that so let's uh, first do the uh, the color index okay um, so let me in fact uh, make this a little bigger so it's easier to read okay now we are using the first of all we are looking at the color index okay now the color index basically uh, when you're using this property there are like 56 colors that have specific numbers assigned to that so if you want to use the color index you are limited to that palette of 56 colors and you just use the the number that's associated with that with the particular color that you want and you plug it in the in here uh, in here okay and that's how you would change the uh, the, the the filled in color of cell A1. Okay, so let's see what those uh, uh, those that that palette of colors is when you're using the color index. So zero is basically not a fill, and then one is black, uh, two is white, three is red, four is green, and then five is blue, and then yellow, and like a light purple, and so on and so forth. So these are the numbers. If you want any of these uh, colors, you'll have to go with one the, the number that's assigned to that particular color. Okay. So say for example, you want yellow, you will go with color six. You want red, you will go with color three. Okay. Uh, you want uh, black, you'll go with color number one. All right. So let's see. Let's assume we want 
to have this uh, greenish color okay and we want that to go into a1 we want that to go over here okay so how would we do that uh, we go into developer visual basic okay and we are going to uh, insert a module okay and we are going to call that color indexer okay and the code that will go in like we had uh, already seen has the code so range uh, within brackets and within double quotes the cell close bracket close quotes dot interior dot color index is equal to and then you uh, pick one of the numbers that associate with the color that you want okay so it's going to be range a1 dot interior dot color index is equal to 10 okay now <clears throat> we'll create a button here and we'll link it to that uh, uh, the macro we just did and when we click on that uh, button the cell a1 would get filled in with that green color okay so we're going to insert a button over here so we go to insert button and uh, we will first resize it by holding on the alt key so it's, uh, the button snaps to the grid and we will call that let's rename we call that color index okay now what we want to do is we've got this uh, macro done okay this module now we want to attach that button to this module okay so we right click assign macro and that's this one here color indexer okay now when i click on this button this cell a1 should be filled in with this greenish color okay so let's see if we were able to do that so click on color this button here there you go now if i were to change my mind and say no i want this um, kind of like a beige color okay uh, that is color number 36 so i'll just go back edit this number 10 make it 36 come out now if i click on this this cell would get changed the color of the cell would get changed to that beige type of color there you go okay so that's how you would use the color index now uh, mind you you are limited to this 256 uh, the palette of 256 okay so that's that's a limitation now the second method of doing this would be using the vb uh, color name okay now let's uh, look at what option that we have here now vb black will give you a black vb blue gives you a blue cyan green magenta red white and yellow pretty you know self-explanatory but then you're also limited to uh, these uh, one two three four five six seven eight a palette of eight colors only okay so that's a limitation but you can just uh, you know you can refer to them by name okay so let's see how we would uh, do that that would be this code here okay so what we're going to do is uh, we'll first create the macro or we can create the button first Either way, it doesn't matter, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the macro and uh, we then we'll create a button here and we'll attach that button to that macro and then we we'll click on it and that you know, we we'll get it to change a cell color. Okay. Now that was module one. Let's insert another module and we'll call it um, sub VB color and we will say range and this time instead of a1 we'll do a thesis two rows down dot interior 
see, see how uh, Excel automatically understands uh, what you're typing and it suggests uh, you know, what, what you might want to do. So you can just double click on it instead of typing the whole uh, word, dot, and then it gives, because you have put a dot, now it gives you the uh, other option that you have available. So we'll use color is equal to uh, VB cyan. Okay. So let's see if that works. Okay. So we'll go here, we'll insert a button and hold down the Alt key and resize it. Okay. We'll uh, rename it. And then we do a right click, assign macro, and that's the macro that we want. Okay. Now, if I were to click on this button, this is cell A3. Okay. This should uh, be uh, colored in with this cyan color. Okay. So let's see if that works. There you go. Okay. Now, if you wanted a different color, maybe you want it in red. So you can go here and you can edit that. And uh, oops, uh, when you click on this button now, this cell would become red. Okay, so that is how uh, you use um, the index uh, interior dot color is equal to VP uh, and then the color name property to fill in the cell. <clears throat> Now, the third method would be the RGB. Excuse me, there, there's no um, decimal here. Let me get rid of that so it doesn't cause any confusion. Okay. Now, let's see what the RGB uh, does. Now, here what, what happens is you have three uh, primary color, uh, basic colors. You have got the red, green, and blue. So R, G, B. That's how you get the RGB uh, background then. Now, uh, let's click on this button and I'll show you what the uh, options are. And then you can also create, now, the good thing about here is it's very easy to create custom colors, okay? So if I click on this button here, now 00, zero is a black, 255, 255, 255 is white, uh, 255, zero, 00 is red, 0, 255, zero is green and zero zero to five is blue now uh, basically what happens is when when there's absence of red and the absence of green and absence of blue so basically absence of color that makes it black okay um, if you have all three you know all the way full they all add up to become white now if the red color is full but the green and blue is, is not present, then you get the red color. Now, if you have, you don't have any red, you don't have any blue, but you have full green, you get the green color. If you don't have any red uh, or green, but you have full blue, you get the blue color. Now, supposing you want to create custom colors, okay? So right now, uh, what we'll do is, uh, we'll uh, read off from these three cells. We'll plug in values here and we'll create a custom color here. Right now they're all zero. So when I click on this button here, it should give me a black. Now supposing I put in 50 here. So meaning uh, there's no green, there's no blue, but uh, you know, there's some red. If I click on this, it shows that it, you know, it has changed color, but it's not really very uh, clear. So if I put in 50 here also, and then click on the custom color, slightly change if you see it's slightly changed so i put a 50 here and click on custom color let's change further now if i were to make this say for example 150 and make this 150 so basically to, you know increase the impact that they would have on this custom color and click on this custom color see how it's changed so i can ch change whatever color i want and um, if you're wondering how I'm getting these numbers, say for example, you're filling in, the, well, let's just do this. Filling in this cell here, go to uh, format cells, fill, and you go to more colors, and you go to custom. 
Okay. Now, whatever color that you pick, it will give you the RGB values here. So if you want, uh, say, for example, this gold color, for example, okay. So you've got two, uh, two, two, four, one, nine, uh, two, two, four. Let me write this down. Two, two, four, one, nine, seven, and 36. So red is two, two, four. Green is one, nine, seven. And blue is 36. Okay. So if I put in those values here, two, two, four. And in this cell, one, nine, seven. And in this cell, 36. I click on custom cell color. This should click on the uh, goldish color. Okay, so that's uh, basically how you can create custom colors using uh, RGB. Now let's see how you would use that. Uh, we will uh, go back into developer, Visual Basic. We will insert another module, and we call this RGB. Whatever. and we'll call it uh, range a5 because we had a1 a3 now we'll do a5 dot interior dot color is equal to rgb and the values for that gold color was 224 comma 197 comma 36 close packet okay now what we'll do is we'll insert a button here uh, hold down the alt key to have it snap to the grid just makes uh, it look uh, nicer presentations everything and we'll call this RGP. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this, click on sign macro, <coughs> and select this RGB uh, RGB color. Click on OK. Now if I click on this button here, this cell should be colored in with that gold color that we just saw. Okay. So let's press it out. There you go. So that's uh, three ways in which you can fill in colors uh, while programming in uh, Visual Basic in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and always remember to hit that bell icon. So you'll get uh, updates as new videos gets, uh, get up uploaded. Thank you very much. And if you have any comments, please do leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.